again. Welcome everybody, and uh, we'll won't let you listen to me anymore. I'll pass it over to Margaret, and she'll start uh, with a little bit of uh, business that we have to do. So, thanks, Margaret. Thanks, Joan. Um, I just want to uh, again welcome everybody here. So, I just wanted to uh, let everybody know that we are uh, being hosted by the Federated Women's Institutes of Canada and the Adelaide Hunter Hoodless Homestead. This is a free online gathering and it is courtesy of the New Horizons for Seniors Life Hacks. Grant. So, just a few rules um, for our gathering today. Uh, by the way, my name is Margaret Bile, and I'm the Federated Women's Institute of Canada President-Elect. I will be moderating behind the scenes today. So in order for everybody to be able to hear the conversations, I'm going to ask everybody to uh, put yourselves on mute, if you don't mind. And uh, if, you, if your internet is a little bit um, slow, you might want to take yourself off a of video. So if you do not wish to have your image visible, please shut off the video option. The Zoom meeting will be recorded and used on social media. If you have any questions, we'll answer them at the end of the presentation. Um, so we'll move on to the videos that we're going to review. Uh, Margaret gave me the job of uh, finding uh, some uh, presenters for this. And of course I do everything that Margaret tells me. And uh, so, I, I, the first thing I thought, well, I better get some expert advice. And and uh, up in my neck of the wood in the northern uh, Alberta or northern BC, I'm just on the border here, is a greenhouse that has, oh, they're massive, you know, owned by a family. And I phoned the, up the lady and, she, and I said to her what I wanted. And I must have babbled for a long time. And she says, okay, I'll get someone to do it. I'll let you know tomorrow. And so she... Uh, got back to me the next day and said, yes, she found so, so she sent me the video, I haven't even seen it. Margaret has put it together and edited. So here we go from Marianne Rice from Hillside Gardens in Dawson Creek. Hi there, my name is Marianne Rice and I work here at Hillside Gardens in Dawson Creek. And I want to show everyone how I plant a tomato. So here I have a nice, a good fair sized pot, probably like about a five gallon pot. And this pot, it has a plug in it. And you always want to have good drainage. So you pull your plug. Some people may want to put a shard of clay or something over the hole so that the dirt doesn't drain out. But once it's compacted, I don't think it will. So now we'll go over to the work table and put our soil into the planter. Yeah. Okay, so here we have our soil that's already been mixed. It's gone through the, the machine and it's uh, been watered down. And I like it fairly moist. Not dripping, but fairly moist. And to this, I will just add just, I don't know, like maybe a tablespoon of slow release fertilizer. And in the greenhouse here, we use 14, 14, 14. I'll also add just a little bit of bone meal. Again, I don't know, a couple teaspoons for this pot. And also the same with the lime. I'll just incorporate this all into the dirt and then I'll load my planter. Okay, so now I want to take my tomato plant, which is, uh, this one's a big beef. It's a determinant type. So that means you don't have to stake it or shouldn't have to. And I will bury this past its first leaves. It is early in the year, so our plants are not very big yet. And I will leave the tag in so that I remember what variety I have. And then just for a bit of color, 
I'm going to throw in, this happens to be verbena, but you could use anything. You could use some short uh, marigolds or some pansies. And I always like to work with odd numbers. I always think things look better in threes or fives. So into this, I'm going to add five. And these, these verbena will wave out nicely. And I think they'll look nice at the bottom of this tomato. And I'll put a tag in so we remember what this is. I think we have a little bit of an excess amount of dirt. Give it a little shake, smooth it all out. And then just a, like a light sprinkling of water to wet it all down. And we have our pot. So today we're going to uh, take this rustic old pot and we're going to fill it with soil and we're going to plant some herbs. So we'll just go over to the soil table and fill it with dirt. So as with the tomato planter, we're using the same soil mix again. We're adding some lime, we're adding some bone meal, we're adding just a little bit of slow release fertilizer and I'm going to fill the pot. Okay, so now we're back here with our pot full of dirt and we're going to put some herbs in. So ideally, we want to take the tallest growing her herb and uh, I've uh, chosen some dill. We'll put that in the center. So, and then either side, I have chosen there is some lavender for height and some rosemary. I'm going to put them just like this on either side. So, and in front and back, I've chosen. I've chosen some mint, which will hang over the pot. So that will be kind of a nice feature. This one is going to take the whole thing. There we go. And I think we could use just a little bit more dirt here. So we'll just get some from out of here. And again, I would save all my tags so that I know exactly what I've grown in here. And I tuck them in the side here. And then I would just give them like a sprinkling of water again. And you're set to go.